All right, so today I'm going to be doing this 03 CTS um, starter replacement. My shit's going out, and it's going out quick, too. Um, Get on there and show y'all this bullshit. Um, here where the starter sits. Here's the exhaust. So I guess you do got to drop the exhaust from up here and unconnect it from here. Um, this starter's going to be really different. This is weird as fuck. But we're going to get it in there somehow. But uh, let me get some of this shit unbolted and I'll be right back. All right, so I got one bolt out. I'm just trying to really examine this shit, man, because I can't really see the battery connections or nothing. I'm trying to take off the heat shield right here. I'm trying to really see if I could do this shit without dropping the exhaust, man, because I do not want to do that. Oh, um, let me see. You gotta get at this shit at an angle. Let me see if y'all can see. You gotta get off. This is the back of the starter. Um, there's a little bolt you gotta get off. I guess that's part of the heat shield. See, I can't really even see up there. I need like. A... I'm trying to see where the other main bolt is. I took off one, but I'm not sure where the other one. It's located. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see. No, y'all can't see. Let me just finish unbolting more shit, and I'll be right back. All right, so I took all the bolts off of the um the um heat shield. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you that shit right now, man. This shit is not easy, my nigga. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm using shit like this just to take off a fucking starter. And the heat shield can't come off until you get um, the exhaust off. So it's on the 03 Cadillac CTS um, 3.2. The exhaust got to come out, man. Or at least down. And this shit's crazy. I Usually, starters is two bolts, some connections, but this is not the case, man. So let me drop this damn exhaust, and I'll show y'all a little bit after that. All right, so exhaust is unbolted uh two bolts right here three bolts on top surprisingly i thought the bolts up there was gonna be fucking hard to get off uh, a thousand foot pounds and shit but nah they came right out nothing snapped so i'm gonna have to move this exhaust i'm gonna get it off of there and uh for that third one you see up there you're gonna need a um swivel socket because you just gotta get that angle so um let me let me move this exhaust down and i'll be right back all right so yeah i'm tripping you can't get this off to move out your way and but you, until you unbolt these ones too so basically this whole assembly right here got to come down and off yeah i just thought i could just lay it down but now it needs to come out so um yeah i'm gonna take my o2 sensor off let that hang somewhere I'm gonna get these bolts off and we should be good and it's motherfucker. Now these one looks hard on there, I don't know. But let me do that and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm bolted the exhaust. Um a fucking one of them fucking broke though. One of the bolts broke. I'ma see what I gotta do about that, cause I ain't trying to have no exhaust leak or nothing. But um, other one came out just fine, but that one broke off. Mm. It seems like it still don't want to come out. It just seems like it needs to move back, like the whole exhaust system. But I'm not trying to do that. Okay. Um, so let me get this shit to move back, and I'll be right. Back. All right, so I'm gonna just have to worry about this situation some other time. But um. So take them two bolts off, and then there's another set right there, and this thing should slide back. I have to think on that, man. I was like, how the fuck am I going to get this out? So let me get that off, and I'll be right back. All right, so once you get those two bolts off, um, that's what they look like. The whole thing will come out. You got to really strong arm this. I don't even know if it was recording or not, but once you get those two bolts off, they look like this. This exhaust will come out. You just really got a strong arm on this bitch because it's going to be stubborn. 
So this is what I broke off, broke in there. I'm gonna bang it out. I'm gonna do something about that, but but um, let me show y'all what it looks like under there. Yeah, this job is a bitch, man. It's, if y'all think this is gonna be easy, it's not, my nigga. I never had to do this for a fucking starter. So once you get that off, it's clear what you gotta do. Like way clear, way more space to work with and all that shit. But um, let me unbolt some more shit. Oh, I gotta take this heat shield off. But um, let me unbolt, unbolt some more shit and I'll be right back. All right, so once you get the heat shield off, <clears throat> I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Basically, once you get the exhaust off and the heat shield off, you can see everything. See, now it's all clear. I guarantee you, other videos on YouTube ain't gonna show you this detail shit. This is detailed as fuck. Um, let me see. Battery connections to the starter. Um, you, you know, just regular shit up on there. Um, now I'm wondering. There's two bolts. The other one. I'm gonna have to fucking get up in there. I, I can't really show y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I felt it up there. I'm gonna have to get a socket and shit, but um. So let me get these battery connections off and I'll be right back. Okay, so hold on, let me try to show y'all. The bolt, the second bolt to it. Fuck, it's like, okay, I think it's right there. Yeah, it's right, I think it is. I don't wanna take it out, cause it looks like it's too, this bolt, it seems like that's to the transmission. So let me see. No, I think that, it's kind of hard to tell if that's the bolt to the starter or if that's a tranny bolt. I'm not too sure. Cause on the new starter, I'm gonna show y'all. It's too, let me grab it out of my car. Yeah, we're Hand from Tenerone to rice -aroni. So the new one. So the new one. You see, there's two right here. The back got them connections. Let me just keep taking and, and take note because I ain't never done this shit before. I'm just really going by faith and. And basically one YouTube video. I'm not finna pay the dealer hundred dollars to do this shit when I can. So let me keep unbolting shit. I'll be right. Back. All right. So it took me about. I ain't gonna lie. It took me about an hour or two to get the second bolt off. This shit was hard as fuck. Um, once you get it out, you gotta get that top 13 millimeter bolt off. People say, people say that there's a knock sensor that you gotta get off, but I ain't seen it yet, so I'ma just keep on doing what I'm doing. So I'ma get that 13 off, and I'ma take it out, and I'ma show y'all what it looks like, and I'll be right back. Oh, and one more thing. This shit is not easy. This, I had to, man, this shit's not easy, but it can happen. But let me get this shit off, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I probably shouldn't have been talking shit, because... Somehow this starter is not fucking coming out. I think I gotta take out. I don't know if that's the knock sensor, but yes, I think it is. So, Cause it's not coming out. So I probably need to disconnect that for it to come out. Cause it's like stuck and it's hidden against, it looks like that piece. I don't know if that's the knock sensor, but I think that's what they're talking about. So let me unscrew that and I'm gonna be right back and show y'all some more. All right, so I got both of the I got the starter out man. This shit was hard. I ain't even gonna lie you This shit was hard as fuck, but let me show y'all What it looked like So I got it out of there you see the two connections And oh, yeah, okay, so the net the Knox the Knox sensor where's that bitch at? Okay, so the Knox sensor you see right there goes in that little hole so knock sensor gotta come out too. And little battery connection that go to the battery, to the starter, and that motherfucker will come off. Exhaust come out, and motherfucker came right out. This shit was hard, I'm not even gonna lie, man. 
I just I feel like if you want to do this shit on your own, um, just have faith, my nigga, because this shit was hard. Watch this video and have faith. <laughs> this was hard, especially getting that top boat out. That shit was hard as hell. I don't even know how I'm gonna put it back in, but we gonna do something about it. But um, I ain't gonna show the reinstall because basically if you take it out, you know how to put it back in. But that's basically what you guys do, man. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.